and led away. They're ready for the Albany and they're off and racing pretty level one on the near side Val Policella and Undertake were quickly away chased by Dandala flying Aletha showing good speed towards the far side in the blue jacket and uh, they're chased by Mother Earth and Cirrus and Golden Melody with a white face on the extreme far side is Willabelle in a green jacket uh, more towards the centre Bon Vitesse just behind follow suit and Undertake in the red white and blue then the grey Val Policella and Dandala tracking the leaders towards the near side is Marions and out the back is Satahi as flying Aletha the Wesley Ward challenger to continues to lead the Albany field by a length to Golden Melody with Mahali on the far side chased by Willa Bell down the near side undertake and follow suit making progress now with Marions and Satahi is now being switched towards the stand side they're inside the final two furlongs spread across the track and coming through Dandala perhaps just to lead the way now and picks up well Dandala from Golden Melody Melody. And then behind these Undertaker and Val Policella, Mahali on the far side with Willa Bell. But Dandala, that was a decisive move, approaching the final furlong and going further clear now in the hands of Ben Curtis. And Dandala is going to win the Albany by the best part of five or six lengths. Satahi running on well down the near side of Mother Earth, second and third. And then came Undertake along with Val Policella and Willa Bell. Well, you can see why Carl Burke was keen to get this filly out on the track, which he did initially on the 2nd of June, the second day of resumption at Newcastle, where she won nicely, and she's gone and followed that up with this uh, decisive win in the Group 3 Albany. I have to say, bar the winner and the runner-up, who ran a strange race, most of these fillies have found the six furlongs in the ground quite a test. They look pretty tired, bar the two have mentioned. But what an impressive winner Dan Daller is. She's a big powerful girl she was a bit mulish at the start but my goodness when she got into gear she really did show him a clean pair of hooves